Okay, so we're gonna create a hole for the follower in these layers. So it doesn't matter which layer you edit. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this top layer here. So if I click on it, it shows me that that's my bottom two layers. I'm gonna activate that. And now I'm gonna create a new sketch on the top of that layer. And now what I want to do is project this axis of rotation here. And then I want to project some of the edges of the follower so I can find the center point of the axis and the center point of the follower. So I'm going to go into sketch, project, and I'm going to click on this axis and it should project that. It's perfect. And then I'm going to grab the edges of my follower. So if you look here, see how I, if I click on those two edges, you'll see them at the top here. They're popping up in there. So I want this one and I want this one. Uh, for my follower. Now a couple things about that. Um, it doesn't matter if we have the whole um, follower or not, like the, the edges, it doesn't matter the orientation of your follower either. We just want to find the distance, the mid distance between those two along this axis here. So that's really all we're concerned about. Um, not really concerned about if these two distances from here to the center and here to the center are equal. We just want to find the midpoint along this axis right here. So to do that, we're going to use our line tool and then hit X for construction. And I'm going to snap a line, a construction line between those two points. Now there's a line there and now I want to put a point right here at this midpoint that's now created. So I'm going to go to point, midpoint and click that. Now I have a midpoint along the axis in between on the center of my cam. So when I stop my sketch and create a hole now, I'm gonna create a quarter inch hole um, in terms of the, the width because my dowel rod is 0.248. So a quarter inch should give me clearance, especially when the laser cuts it, should be a little bit more than that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do a simple hole. Um, the angle doesn't matter, we're cutting all the way through. So that, that doesn't make a difference. We'll click okay. And now when I look at the top of my item, we should see the cam, there it is, sitting right in the middle of my hole. And then if you rub over this, so here's our cam, this is actually the axle that runs through and you can see the hole is right in the middle of the axle. So that's, that's our goal is to create a hole that does that. It's right in the center of your cam, right in the center of your axle. Now you can create a follower. So we're gonna use the same dowel rod as this as a follower. You could just copy paste this one, but it's probably a different length. So we'll just do a new component. Go back to your main assembly, right click new component, we'll call it follower. We'll do a new sketch, click on this base, create a circle, again, it doesn't matter where. It's going to be 0.248, which is our dowel rod diameter. I'm going to extrude that. And you'll have to decide what the distance is later. I'm just going to do a three and a half inch um, dowel rod uh, for my follower. Click OK. Go back to your main assembly. And this is where we're going to create a joint for this follower to insert into this hole and rest on top of that cam. The first thing is I want to make sure my cam is in the in the position where it's at the lowest. So that's at zero degrees for me. I've already established that. So again, I double click on the flag, hit zero degrees, and now it's set. 